Hi, good evening. Um, I'm doing a little demonstration for you tonight, um, following on from the cat panel that I've put together. Um, this is the cat panel. It's the kit I'm currently selling. There we go. It's all put together. And if you read the little writer, what I was saying was there's things that you can do with this. The whole idea of the, the kit is that it gets you in the mood for a bit of quilting and learning to piece those fabrics together. And we'll talk about that shortly. Um, it's ideal because what you can do is use this to make a variety of things, whether you want it as a cushion or a wall hanging, or whether you want to build on it to make some sort of lap quilt, etc. Thinking though about the wall hanging, um, which is what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it up in this room. Um, I suppose some of you might be wondering, how do I go about that? So what I've done is I've taken the measurements of my quilt panel and I've cut out a piece of white to go on the back, white cotton. In addition to that, I've also then got myself some wadding. And for this, although it's not my favourite, I've just got the, the polyester wadding. So that's what I've got handy. OK, what I've then done is I'm, I'm what you need to do is create a channel that goes at the top back side of your your wall hanging. OK, so this is it pinned in place just to show you. But what we've got is a piece of plain cotton that I have measured. It is narrower than the finished piece. It doesn't need to be that big. It's fine. And I've cut a piece that is six and a half inches deep. And then it is 17, it's about 18 inches long. What I've then done, and I am going to have to hold this up because otherwise I struggle with the camera, is I have pressed it in half that way. And then I've pressed that in on the end. So we've got two tidy ends because I'm not actually going to sew that closed because that's where we will insert the pole or whatever it is that we want to use to hang it with. What I've then done is I've folded over these two raw edges and that's where I'm going to sew. So all I needed to do then was make sure it was straight. So I've measured from there down to there and in this case I measured four inches. What I'm now going to do is sew along that line. So I'm just going to turn this around and you can just... Um, Watch the back of my head while I just whip it through the sewing machine. And because I've ironed it, I've got quite a nice line there that I can see. I'm going to do a quick reverse stitch. I'm sure that on YouTube there's plenty of ways that you can do this, but this is my quick way, if you like. It's the back, nobody's going to particularly see it. So I just want to do something that will do. Oh, that's stuck there. I think it's stuck on a pin head. Yeah, it is. I'll sew that in, which isn't very clever. I'll go back to that and I'll reverse it off. Okay. So that's all done and it should be quite tidy on the other side. Typically it did smell, you probably heard it just chew just a little bit there. I need more bobbin in really, but that's okay. So now we've got all of this excess here. I am just going to cut some of the excess away, but please be careful not to cut your main fabric at this point. If you don't cut, it's not the end of the world. Because the next step that we're going to do, here we go. Where are we? there is all I'm going to do is I'm going to iron and flip that up there into place and you run a row of stitches just across here so bear with in fact while the iron just heats let me just have a little chat with you about these kits so the kits are 17.95 um let me show you them now so you can see what they look like again because these are selling very well, as I'm sure you can imagine. So these are just a couple I've got pulled out. So we've got the purple cat there, very pretty. Pink cat there. We have got another pink cat there. And we've got the teal, and the teal's what I've been using, but obviously just a different position for the cat. What you can then do is choose those squares that you have around the edge. Now, what I'm sort of propose is that I give you four of the white squares here. They've got a little texture to them for the corners. 
and then you've got the choice really just for ease of term is you have to choose these colors here can you see so you're going to get four squares and then four rectangles and you've got the option in the teal you've got the option in the red which is lovely that's really really nice and you've got the option in the purple then you can choose what those other two colors are so that's this one here this one here this one here so these two here on the left and right are the same and then the top and bottom are the same if you want them the, the same as each other all four being the same then that's absolutely fine but what i'm suggesting is that's the whites there and here's the corresponding white so that's exactly as you've just seen it on my quilt and there's another one there. So there's three options in the white. And then you've got two in the black. And that's the black there. And then the black in that beautiful cat again, which I love. Really, really nice. If you want to mix them, that's entirely up to you. But I just want to show what I've got there available. So if you are interested in any of these kits, I can soon get them out to you and they are $17.95. All you need to add is your wadding and that back fabric. Like I say, I've used the white. I think it lends itself just to keep it really, really crisp. And um, you need to add your batting as well. I guess if I was using the black panels, I'd probably put a black on the back, if I'm honest. And um, just a wadding as per. Right, so let's get on with this. So like I say, all I'm going to do is iron this so it's really, really crisp and flat. There we go. Some people may choose to hand sew this in place. I'm not. That is not me. So there we go. We just hold that and then grab a couple of pins again. Pin it across to hold it in place and where these pins are that is effectively now where I will be stitching and that's the channel done um, all you then need to do is insert your pole and it'll just sort of push up to the top when you hang it onto the wall okay and that's your back piece now ready to attach to the wadding and the front panel my intention is to put some um, binding around the edge which I will probably do by hand to give it a really nice crisp finish i think it always looks better in that way but i hope you found that useful thanks so much bye bye